Good morning, internet friends. AK40 Kevin here in the gamer heaven. I hope all of you guys are having a lovely morning thus far. So I haven't made a video in a while on the scalper situation with the new consoles, the PS5 and the Xbox Series S and X, as well as the 30 series graphics cards, but that's because there really hasn't been a whole heck of a lot to cover and I kind of lost interest in it. I haven't been actively seeking out the PS5 anymore, to be quite honest. And I hate to say it, I haven't even turned on my Xbox Series S in about three weeks. I played it pretty extensively for the first week to get used to the, you know, the changes that they've made, check out the new frame rate and whatnot, make a little bit of content for you guys unboxing it and setting it up and uh, going over how to stream directly from it and stuff like that. But then, you know, the majority of everything I do is going to be on PC anyway. Gaming, streaming, video editing, cryptocurrency mining, productivity work for my schoolwork and my businesses. So I, I just kind of lost interest to be quite 110% transparent and honest when it comes to getting a new console. I would still like to get a PS5 in the living room. I think it would look quite handsome in my entertainment center. And, you know, obviously there is content to be made there when there are PlayStation 5 exclusives coming out in the near future. I can do comprehensive reviews of them, do some uh, frame rate testing between the budget $300 S and the flagship Sony offering, stuff like that. But anyway, I know that was a little off topic, but... Intro out of the way, let's talk about how these scalpers are absolutely screwed. They should start dumping out their stock because their their game is it's just it's at it's at an end. It's about to be game over for these boys. Alrighty guys, so I'm going to go ahead and share my screen here. This is an article that came out uh, December 16th here, and this is about UK politicians that are actually uh starting a bill to get scalping on a large scale illegal, specifically around the uh, consumer electronic space. So when I say on a large scale, Prep Chief Notify bought up 3,500 units of digital only and optical drive PS5s. Now that's massive. They were obviously using scripts and bots to do this. And this isn't like old school scalping where you'd stand out in front of uh, a store and get yourself two pairs of Nikes and a Supreme hoodie to scalp on the street corner or something like that, where you're actually putting in work standing out there in the cold, wasting your time. You're sitting behind a computer screen in a, in a massive warehouse with a bunch of monitors to scoop up an astronomical amount of, of product, of stock. You know, at one point, they, these, these uh, scalper organizations had more stock than the major retailers, Amazon, Best Buy, Target, GameStop, etc. So that's just absolutely ridiculous. So this is in the United Kingdoms. However, a lot of these policies and bills end up trickling back and forth to uh, the North America, to North America and other parts of the world as well. And also UK had a bigger problem with the console scalping than we did in, the, in North America here. That's where Crep Chief Notify is based out of. And I did reach out to them trying to set up an interview and they have been shucking and jiving. Um, they're like Rocky. They've been really uh, pushing me up against the turnbuckle trying to get away from me. I have the full names of the two owners and the address of their warehouse. So Maybe I should send them a letter. I, I don't know. And let me know, guys, if it's even worth my time to try and set up an interview with these people trying to delve into their world a little bit into the cesspool of major scale scalping and figure out why what incentivizes them to do it. Obviously making money. I'm not a, a numbskull over here, but, um, you know, do they have any remorse for how they've done it? Also, if they could, uh, you know, give up some of their tactics, methods, techniques and procedures, they probably won't. I mean, we all know how they're doing it. Bots and scripts. Obviously, they're not sitting there refreshing a computer because all of us as the average consumers have done that. I've shared my experiences in the past, getting all the way to checkout and having Walmart crash on me, uh, actually completing checkout from Target and then getting an email saying that they ran out of stock and they, they can't fulfill my order. I mean, and, and my experiences are no different than anyone else. I'm sure all of you guys have dealt with stuff like this or something even worse. There were Amazon drivers that were stealing consoles out of boxes and putting in uh, air fryers and foot massagers and stuff like that. That's pretty ridiculous you know and also if you were unlucky enough to be one of the people that got into a physical confrontation in a in a physical brick and mortar store trying to get one of these things that's ridiculous but uh we all know scalping is a huge issue and there is now a bill put into motion that would make large scale purchase of consumer electronics for the purpose of reselling them and again these guys weren't selling them for seven or eight hundred dollars which is still you know, two to $300 above MSRP, they were selling them for $1,500. That's three times MSRP, which is ridiculous. Now you still factor in the taxes, the 30 or $40 of taxes for a $500 console. And then the, you know, the money that they might've had to spend on their computer setups and the bot programs that they run and stuff like that. They're still making an absolute killing. And 
yeah. So I, I do think that this, that large scale consumer goods scalping should be illegal. I'm not saying these people need to do hard prison time where they're they're biting the pillow and you know embracing the fucking love from their cellmate or anything like that. But um, it, it does need there does need to be some kind of bill in motion that limits uh, you know if somebody is caught running some kind of a script or bot to do this, they feast feast. They face some kind of legal ramification for it. I think that's just common sense that that should be a thing. Because again, this isn't like traditional scalping. You buy some sports tickets or a pair of Jordans or a Supreme hoodie or something like that. That's been going on for decades. And, uh, you know, this whole consumer goods thing with the bots is, is on a different level. It's larger scale and it's also more sneaky and conniving because they're not actually doing any physical work, putting themselves out to to get this monetary gain. So I think this is fantastic. As with any time I cover any kind of gaming news or any news period, I will have my sources linked in the description below. So you guys can read up on it, read the whole articles yourself, and then go down to the comment section. Please, once you've educated yourself a little bit, read the articles, maybe finish this video out so you know all my thoughts and don't take something I say out of context and be like, well, Kevin, you cockeyed fuck with your Sharpie tattoos, blah, blah, blah. I disagree and da, da, da. That's cool if you disagree. I mean, adults, we can have uh, differences of opinion and still move on with our days and not have to hate each other. But, um, you know, I will have these linked in the description below. And then please drop in the comment section your guys' thoughts on the whole scalper situation. If you were lucky enough to get your hands on a console uh, prior to 21. And uh, so besides the UK passing this bill here, we also have Walmart. This article came out again, December 15th here. And uh, Walmart has actually been making great strides to get away from the uh, that that terrible oh dear screen that was just stepping on the last nerve of people that had been staying up for hours to get these damn consoles. And they actually canceled uh, over 20 million bot attempts in 30 minutes alone. Now, I did cover this, I think, the day that it happened or this news came out. I covered it like immediately. I hopped on my PC and made a video. But um there's more articles arising like this that Walmart and now other major companies like Amazon and Target are starting to follow suit by getting better bot protection. Now, that's a little bit too little too late, as the saying goes, because uh, now within two weeks, that's the another premise for this video. In the next two weeks, Sony is importing another 10 million PlayStation 5 units, and that is just the beginning. Every uh, three weeks to a month, there's going to be another influx of millions of units. So, um, scalpers are going to have to get rid of their stock or they're just going to be sitting on it and they're going to have to eat their losses, their profit losses, which is fine by me. I hope they do take a straw and suck up their losses because they fucking deserve it. Kurt Cobain, they did it to themselves. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I, you guys know how I feel about scalpers. I've made more in-depth videos in the past ranting about what a disgusting, shrimp dick little prick cross-eyed unibrowed hangnail having shrimp thing swanging these these boys really are doing this stuff and this isn't a video to, to grill them or degrade them or pre preheat the oven and get to roasting or anything like that but just assholes pure purebred full maned you know best in show assholes sony's getting massive influxes of playstation 5 stock coming back in Major retailers like Walmart are starting to get better bot protection. So this doesn't happen again with the next release of a major consumer product. You know, the next round of graphics cards, the next consoles in five, six years, the next uh, major whatever it might be. Again, for this drop, I think it's too little too late. I'm glad they're doing this. That's great for future drops and whatnot. But again, uh, the there's going to be more supply to the demand in about two weeks. So whatever. And uh, again, if a bill is passed, I think that is very positive. I think that is a a good thing, obviously. That's that's a step in the right direction um, for these asshole scalpers. So that is going to do it, guys. Please, like I said, if you want to uh, educate yourself in the articles, they are in the description, and then you want to share your thoughts. And uh, in, the, in the comment section below, I am trying to build a community here of like-minded individuals, average, game, average consumers, gamers, and whatnot, where we can communicate our ideas and uh, get a positive little um, little think tank word flow going on down there, boys. Do a little brainstorming and whatnot. All right, guys, that is going to do it. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.